So I went on tour to America and my friends there asked me, "Can I take you to Universal Studios?" I said, "Nah." "How about Hollywood?" "Nah." "What about Disneyland?" "Nah." "Then where the hell do you want me to take you to?" I told him, "You take me straight to the strip club." The minute you ask your friend living in America to take you to a strip club, his reaction will be like, "Hey, Macha, how can you and I go to the strip club? Hey, what is this? Da? I guess if I asked you to strip, you take me there, da." <laughs> But finally, finally, one friend obliged, and he took me to a strip club in Seattle, and I had the time of my life, and I am going to be telling you every single thing that happened inside. I went to a strip club in Seattle and in the entrance of the strip club there was this big black bouncer standing there and when he sees another black man come to the strip club he me- immediately does what black people do to each other in America when they meet each other for the first time have you noticed this they start doing this weird hand gestures with each other I'm like yo what's up I'm like yo what's up I'm like who ah eh who like, honestly what the fuck are they doing <laughs> initially i didn't understand any of it after a while i just pretended that they're playing dumb charades and i started guessing along with them Two words sounds like Mission Impossible. Yes. <laughs> and then a white man entered the strip club. When the white man enters the strip club, suddenly this black bouncer is no longer this hospitable. He stops him. He pats him. He asks him for his wife's no objection certificate before he can let him inside. <laughs> and then when the Indian guy enters the strip club, something amazing happened. When the Indian guy enters the strip club, suddenly this black bouncer is like, "Salam sab ab kaise ho? Acha hai kya?" And even better, when I enter the strip club, it's like, "Manak sir, Tamil ani ge." Hey! <laughs> when the bouncers in a strip club in Seattle know Shuddh Hindi and Tamil, that is when you know who the regular customers there are. <laughs> I went on a Monday afternoon. I thought my logic was foolproof. Monday afternoon, first day of the week, so much work ahead. The last thing in the mind of the average working employee in Seattle would be to go to a strip club. So if I go on a Monday afternoon, that means there will be nobody there from the city. It will just be me and all the resources. I will have access to all of them. Aiyah, jolly. <laughs> Guess which logic every other Indian in that area. was also going by <laughs> we all think the same way <laughs> because after going inside the strip club i did not know if it was a strip club or some social gathering in my family where i am looking to avoid familiar faces in my own family <laughs> uncle tomorrow naale ki unga veetu vara vella poya their menu card had gobi 65 paneer tikka and all that and here is the general modus operandi of a strip club which is that any time a stripper approaches you the least you are expected to do is make conversation so the least you are expected to do is be nice and say hello because that's a job that they treat there with pride dignity and respect and rightly so because there are people who are doing their phd's in their morning who come and work in the strip club that night because they're passionate about it there is no shame associated with it and i'm very happy about that but indians they can't understand this they can't even digest this because indians have the super power which is if we go to a country and if they don't practice shame there we invent shame <laughs> and if we can't invent shame then we take shame from inside our body throw it onto them and be like ay ay puppy shame <laughs> because any time a stripper came and approached a white or a black person in the strip club the least they did was just make conversation they were like hello hi how you do but that's pretty much it but not the indian guy The Indian man, whenever he goes to a strip club in Seattle, was reminded of the number of times Indian women in India have rejected him on unreasonable grounds, according to him, and therefore he decides to take revenge on all the women who he was rejected by in India by rejecting the strippers who are approaching him in Seattle. Ni danda kasu kurte loose ku. I saw this happen right in front of me. Any time a stripper comes and approaches this Indian man, and she was like, "Hey, baby, how about I take you?" No, ma, no, ma, I can't do this. She's like, "Why? What's wrong with me?" No, no, you look like my sister. I'm sorry. <laughs> and this this middle-aged person walked up to him, and she was like, "Hey, baby, how about I?" No, ma, no, ma, I can't do this. Why? What's wrong with me? No, no, you look like my mother. I'm sorry. <laughs> At that point of time, I I went up to him. I was like, "Bro, 
I need to meet your family. 